I was 14 and this was in 1934 and Bala was 18 I think at that time. It was my brother Uday Shankar who first got Bala from Madras to Calcutta. The, our Indian impresario at that time, Haran Ghosh, was the man who arranged a few programs, and my brother was the person who asked him to bring Bala. And a special program was arranged at the Calcutta um, Senate House at that time of the university. And this was the first All Bengal Music Conference. And it was a very special event, I remember, because two persons were there for the first time. Bala was one, and the other was Guru Shankaran Nambudri, the great Kathakali dancer, who was my brother's guru, and I also learned Kathakali from him. And it was a special event, you know how? Because Rabindranath Tagore, the great poet, he was sitting on the stage at one corner on a very special chair that was and with his personality sitting there. I remember that Bala was so excited because having him sitting on the... And immediately she became like a star, you know, because that was the first time people saw pure Bharatanatyam. There was the child in her, I guess, and, uh, you know, I remember we mucked around with just ran and you know it was something very strange we used to play snake ladder ludo and things games like that and you know there was something very childlike in her and later on we became very good friends really and uh, it was something that stayed all our life i saw that side of pala which i think very few people have seen and since then our friendship remained always, you know, very, very strong. And I loved her very much and uh, admired and respected her. What she could do, the stand and do the Zabhiniams, I mean, I'm utterly spoiled, I tell you, after having seen her. I mean, to me, it's very difficult to appreciate any other Bharatanatyam dancer. Oh, she was such a fantastic singer so much in soul, so much in tune and emotion. And particularly this song she used to sing. different ways and with that she did her Abhinayam calling Krishna in so many different ways in begging Krishna to come, being angry at Krishna, lovingly tender and you know I mean it was just unbelievable what she could do and each time she was different she improvised so much but she had a uh, very I won't say short temper, but had little patience for nonsense, really. And her likes and dislikes were so strong. Either she loved or hated. That sort of thing. Musically also, she had her few favorites. The rest, my God, she, she was fantastic in copying. She was such a mimic, she would take any famous musician and just copy his singing, his style or his style of playing the flute or whatever, you know. But those, she loved very few of them. She was very, very, you know, respectful and admiring and everything. I was very lucky that she had for me, for my grana, you know, Baba and Ali Akbarji, she had tremendous admiration for this style. Uh, I met her in Los Angeles. That was the last time I saw her. 
that was I think about four years before she died. That was when Lakshmi, her daughter, had a program in my music circle, in the music circle of uh, Los Angeles. And that was a wonderful event, but she was not keeping too well. It was a wonderful, memorable, and that's what, that was the first time I saw Lakshmi dance also. Though I know her since she was this small. But uh, it was a wonderful evening, and uh, that was the last I saw her, unfortunately. As far as Bala's dance and music is concerned, she belonged to a school of what we call Gharana in North India, which was esteemed as the highest, and especially singing the Padams, which were special song compositions for which she did the Avinyans, the acting, enacting the songs. Most of them were very erotic in nature because the songs are especially love songs, either Krishna or Shiva or whatever. And she used to do it so much with such feeling. And that was really a speciality with this particular school because I know very famous singers used to go to them, to her mother, to her grandmother, even to Bala, to learn to sing these bhadams. And unlike other singers or musicians in the Carnatic system of South, where the music is very, very, you know, it, it has, I won't say it is rigid, but it, 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 it follows lots of rules and regulations, you know. And the form is very, very disciplined. Bala's music, or her school's music, had a fluidity which was very much more appreciated in North also, because she could immediately, even if they didn't understand a word what she was singing, it was all in Telugu mostly, but she could immediately, you know, create a feeling of pathos or love or whatever she was singing, and that was something so special. And whereas other dancers dwelt more on just the dance part, you know, with Bala one felt that the music and dance became one. That's what I always felt, you know. <laughs> 